The CMO Academy, the Chief Medical Officer Academy, is a new offering by ACPE. We've done this in conjunction with the Joint Commission, and it's a series of courses put together to help, as the name implies, Chief Medical Officers learn more about what their responsibilities are and how to meet their responsibilities. So we've put together a nice compilation of courses that will help them understand what are the various components of being a Chief Medical Officer, as well as how to do better in their job with the roles and responsibilities that are part of being a Chief Medical Officer. The Joint Commission recognizes that physician leadership is really essential for organizations to excel in their performance. We feel that we have a contribution to make in that journey for physician leaders. The CMO Academy covers a whole variety of courses. It is for those who are just beginning in their, their uh, role as CMOs, so how do you become a member of the team? How do you deal with change? How do you incorporate utilization of other professions in creating the change? And for others who are CMOs who may have been in their job or even very experienced, there's a lot of good activity around governance. There's a lot around standards and accreditation. Where does that fit in? There's certainly some components related to finance and what does it take to really help run an organization in an efficient, quality and safe way. See, the focus on CMOs is, is really uh, an important one these days because very much so organizations are relying on that role to be able to create change, not only within the organization, but also within the medical staff. The medical staff models are quite variable around the country, but that chief medical officer is that pivot point that serves as how do you create change in that organization, but how do you embrace the medical staff in creating that change. So it's, a, it's really a pivotal role for most all organizations. A CMO Academy is really important to help physicians learn so many of the skills and new information that they did not get in their medical school training or in residency. There's new information, new technologies, and leadership skills are really, really important. That's the purpose of the CMO Academy. Yeah, the Joint Commission uh, is a very influential entity within healthcare. Obviously, they are focused in upon standard setting as well as accreditation. They have a broad, broad reach. They actually accredit virtually 95 to 98 percent of all of the beds in hospitals in this country, but they also accredit a variety of other types of programs and, and services out there in healthcare. They, uh, probably accredit somewhere between 15 and 16,000 different types of healthcare organizations. What they have recognized over the course of time is if they're going to be able to improve healthcare through the use of standard setting and accreditation, physician engagement is very much an important part of how to create that change. So this partnership is a, is a natural because we are the experts in terms of physician management, physician leadership, how do you help organizations change their culture as a result of physician engagement, physician integration? That partnership will then help with standards and improving the accreditation approaches. Well, it's really designed for all levels of chief medical officers. Certainly those who are new in their role, they will benefit probably the most. But those who have been in the role a couple of years, or even those who are more experienced, the types of courses that we offer and the knowledge that they'll be gaining through taking those courses really services each of those groups. And we've got the courses organized so that it, it's, um, you know, for lack of better terms, novice, intermediate, and experienced. So it's really for all types of chief medical officers. I'm really excited about the CMO Academy. I was a CMO of a hospital and I would have loved to have had this course. 